All hail Shadow! <laughs> Heroes rise again! Dun, 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 dun. Obliterating everything that's not your friend! Dun, 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 dun. Nothing can stop you now! No, no ghost to bring you down! But there's nothing <laughs> left to lose! You win! I SHARE! Welcome to EMK Cast, the first ever cast that we've ever done. I am ST, and joining oh. us today is. Boom. Derby. Woo! Yeah! This is the most this low energy shit ever. No, it's okay, fucking okay, okay. great. All right. I've never even heard that song in my life. Uh, Are you fucking serious? Are you serious? Okay, we're canceling this. We're playing Shadow of the Hedgehog. I, I, I guess we're going to talk about that then. No, uh, no, no, no. We got this. We got this. That this is, is uh. We, um. <laughs> So we're going to play Final Fantasy IX, but uh, that didn't happen. So instead, we're having our first ever E&K cast with a grand total of 30 seconds of planning. So it's going to be great. Yeah, all right. Joining us is... Pizza Man. Pizza Man. Give it a... Pizza Man. Yep. Yeah, okay, cool. Whatever. All right. And... Well, and... Hey, nobody really cares. Come on, right, let's keep hey, going. fuck that guy. Whatever. Who cares? Okay. <laughs> it's Josh. So uh, first on the menu is... Uh... That's my all right. Since I proposed... Whoever proposed the topic could probably, like, bring it up. Hey, whenever, like... Josh tries to talk, you should put that picture of him that I have. And just like take it and make him go like boop, 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 every time he fucking. Dude, you gotta so like, I was like, <laughs> have you seen that picture? No. You gotta Dude, be like Ross. Show him that fucking picture. Okay. Um, well, since we're all kind of barricaded in here, since the rest of the, the James quarters where we film is uh, filled with ticks and tick girls. So tick girls. Well, we've been. There are no ticks. That's it's the it's second fine. dot, you dumbass! It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay, so, um... Unless you brought some with you. For course. the first topic, yeah, like, I'd say to some extent, like, all of us have at least looked at an entire or had some kind of, like, you know, bizarre crush. And that usually starts, like, as a kid, you have a crush on, like, a... You ever played a video game or a cartoon and you kind of got a crush on one of the characters? Look, man, I have a story. Okay, really we are, so we already got this topic going. Basically, that's the topic which we're gonna start off with, is, um... Weird characters you had a crush on growing up that you may or may not be horribly ashamed over now, because that's just a part of being hey, a massive fucking nerd. I played WoW, I used to pep the night elves. Oh, dude, I have been back <laughs> That's kind of vanilla, but I can't Who about. did it? All right, so I have a story, okay, all right, actually. Let's, let's, let's and I don't know if I ever told Josh about this, but it was it happened to be the thing that we both... One of the things we got into manga and anime with was, was this. Oh, well, so, yeah. So... The first thing I ever read when I started reading manga and anime was La Vina. How old were you when this happened? Oh, I was like 13. And, That's um, a little older than I was thinking for childhood, but it still works. It was, it was, it was a weird experience, alright? But, but whatever. So, like, I read all of La Vina, and I was like, awesome! Because I, re I really liked Naru, and, and like, at the end of it, I was so fucking, like, depressed and shit, because I was like, this manga is over with, man! And I just was like, maybe I like Naru. It was it was one of those weird things. Uh, it's just like your first like breakthrough waifu moment where you're like, oh maybe yeah. this character is more than just a character in my oh, heart. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's all good. I, I got over that. that shit so quick, <laughs> <laughs> and I've never had oh, a waifu since. That's man. depressing. I mean, but, a waifu? Huh? He was he do? was saying like he did almost you, like look up pictures of her. And no hell no. Did you ever have her at your desktop icon and you had like a bowl of um spaghettios and like a tall can of diet Pepsi and you just press it to the screen and just go off and forget you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't. No, but it was just weird, because, like, because, like, I went through the whole story, like, so, like, emotionally invested. For some reason, I always get emotionally invested in, like, TV shows and stuff that I watch. So, like, I, it was just weird. Like, I felt like I, like, fell in love with something that wasn't real, and then I realized later that I didn't. Yeah, it was well, just one of those I mean, I know that too much wife will ruin your life, boo, which is, it's like... It's just, like, online relationships. Uh, pretty much. Uh, it is kind of scary how similar, like, people that follow the waifu mentality, how close it is to having a long-distance relationship. Because, like, this kind of obsession of someone you can't actually be with, it's almost the exact same thing, <laughs> just one of them living, I guess, <laughs> well, if you're into that. Yeah, that's it's weird. Joss, did you have yeah, any, any do you have any characters you had a crush on as a kid, like from a cartoon or a video game or well, a comic book? I always pick, like, one per series, pretty much. But, but like, which are, like, ones that I'd say defined you as the fucked up individual you What was today? the very first one that you well, were like, wow? You may not remember Crystal that. Fox would have been the first one. Like, Who? Crystal Fox. What's she from? Crystal. Cri uh, Star Fox Adventures? What that was? That's like eight years ago. That fucking star. I'm talking childhood, not eighteen-year-old crush. We're man child. We're man children, <laughs> obviously. Years ago, I was eight. Years okay, old. maybe a little bit before then. You gotta remember something. You're eight, sixteen. Was, okay, let me. I was eight years old when that. When she was There's out. no way. Yeah, it was I not talk, that I recent. I talked about it with people in the it nurses' was not office that in elementary school in the fourth what? grade. What did you talk about? 
I was like, I had a, I had a um, Nintendo Power, and she was on the cover, and I was like, man, she's so, I'm, she's so attractive. Oh my god, she's so sexy. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, her no, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> have you ever considered just going to furry cons in a huge furry suit and looking for a girl that's He's dressed as Crystal? Uh, maybe even a dude. I mean, you, it doesn't, you don't have gender, doesn't matter. It's the suit. Uh, I don't know. I, I just prefer the internet where I can find actual good. Pictures and just be like you're looking for a place to dock your R wing. It'll be great. I'll totally go for it. It's what? I'll just say you want to saturate all of Lilat, man. She'll totally do it. Chicks love the space-related uh, pickup lines, especially furry chicks who are known to have extremely high standards, oh, like yeah. the highest. <laughs> Oh my god. It, it takes discipline to wear a fucking 100 degree fursuit for three days straight at a convention. Oh yeah. And they fuck in those things too, so you can only imagine just the horrible almigation of nightmare smells that conglomerate around all that shit. Oh god. They gotta like put like fans in that shit or something. Oh yeah, they have like inside the suit, it's like a compartment with like a 15 lifestyle canisters. They're always like <laughs> reaching their arms in and just. <laughs> Once they gotta disinfect my internal tits. <laughs> That's what happens when you're fur. So, uh, David, you, you got anything? There's no way you didn't have. I told you, night elves. Oh, night elves. This got open more than that. Come so on. you just fapped to night elves in a while. That was it. Yeah. It was. There was no sure like. That was like. There's no like old. nostalgic crush you had where well, you were like watching a cartoon or playing a game and you're like, oh my god, she's adorable. I feel things. Well, the bunny was also a good. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like Monica? that would have been a good example. No. Um, huh. I mean, I have a few that I could. I could definitely go into. What, what's the one that, uh... The one that comes to mind the most, like, this is the one that I immediately think of, and it's such an unconventional choice, because yeah, it's I, not even a feminine-looking character, but just the personality as a kid, I was like, she's so perfect, I was mean, fucking, um, Bao from Paper Mario, because she was, like, the first example oh, of yeah. that kind of character archetype. Yeah, um, jiggly booms everywhere. No, no, not Flurry, you're thinking Bao's oh, yeah, in your yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. No, Bao, because she, her personality was, she was kind of like... Wait, wasn't, wasn't Bao domineering. like the... She had the fan, she was kind of like, you know, she belittled and made fun of you a lot, but she had like a heart of gold. Oh, like that character oh, archetype wait, as a kid wait, I was super into. Wasn't that like Sunday? Sort of, not quite Sunday, like she never fully opened up. She was like up. a femdom. Kind of not full on femdom, but she was more like aggressive and she wasn't passive, which Yonder for a kid right. I thought was a really cool personality trait. So that, I had a, kind of like a, a kid crush on her for a more a conventional choice. Like, obviously, when Star Fox Adventures came out, Crystal was there. Uh -huh. um, there was... Crystal was there for all of us. This this is going right, to sound David? really... I'm not going to lie. Like, during my childhood, I was, I was about the real girls. About the real... Oh, yeah. I mean... I, mean, I had oh, that phase. I yeah, had that phase. Yeah. 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 3D girls. Such a yeah, weird fuck time. that phase. Um, and then WoW took over, and then I... I'm gonna go and say a pretty bad one, but it was completely true. I can't deny this didn't happen. But um, Sally Acorn and like the old Sonic, I was oh, like yeah. eight or nine years wait, old wait. because she wore no clothes yeah, she and like no it was because you could see like the the curve of breasts. She didn't have nipples, but every other female character was wearing right clothes, so it felt different. It's like when you look at um, oh, fuck, there was people talking about this before. Like whenever there's a, a series with like animal people. And all of them wear clothes, but one doesn't. Even if there's nothing there, it feels dirty. It feels, yeah. Yeah, and I, as a kid, you pick up on that shit. She does wear clothes. She has boots. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, though, is, like, Amy and Rouge and uh, Bunny, they all had, like, tops and jackets and stuff. Sally had a jacket, but it only covered her shoulders. So as a kid, you pick up on that shit. It's like, well, there's something indecent here. Yeah, topless and girls um, I think that's how Sega, or at least whoever made that, managed to create a generation of fucking furries. So <laughs> there we go. It's and thanks to Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey, she has a coat, too. I will say this. Um, Archie recently hey. redesigned her and actually gave her a full outfit. It looks a lot Speaking less weird. Of furries, oh, that's terrible. I met my first furry guy on Warcraft 3 in this channel, Sex. Amazing. In the channel, channel Sex? His name was uh, Devin. And he turned out to be a really fucking, like, cool dude. go around people to get what he wants. He's just wow. a fucking liar. You'd expect to find normal people in a channel and, called uh, Sex. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Wait, just wait, just wait. He knew me and Nars Kali, and he, he sent both of us one time, like, I don't know, he was, like, horny or some shit. He sent us both, like, a picture of himself with, like, a shampoo bottle up his ass. And his, and his, <laughs> his balls were, like... We're like uh, tied together with rubber bands. And huh. like, no, that's that's normal, guy James. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, he was like he was like holding his dick. It was like rock hard or something. 
It was like beat red. Like, well, was oh. he like? You oh. say wait, wait, wait! Does it show his face? Took also, took some time to observe it. Well, you say he's a furry, but was he like the actual attractive furry that you never know, or was he like the eight hundred pound like acne ridden? No, he was. He was, he was disgusting, skinny, skinny like me. Oh, okay. So he was like one of. Because here's the thing with furries is um, it's popular to hate on them, and I fully approve of it in most cases. Pounds? But really? it's really hard to tell because I've met like some furries that were actually pretty decent people aside like. The ones that say it's a lifestyle tend to be the ones that are kind of creepy. I know a few that are just so cool. Yeah, you know? yeah. There's just not, you can't, there's nothing like, that doesn't define them as a person at all. It's just yeah, an extra leisure thing it, they it do. It all depends on how you approach it. Like, I have some of my best online buddies. They are definitely like really into the furries and I guess their culture, if you want to call it that. Yeah, so, I have two furries still. One of them will, uh, try to lick you as much as possible. The other one would murder his family in a second. That, that's just it. Like, you have, like, the ones that are just a little weird. They try to nibble your ears, and it's like, hey, dude, stop. But it's like, whatever. And then you have the ones that are like, so, yeah, I think I'm a wolfkin. I, um, I like Here's to stare the thing. <laughs> he, he, uh, he wishes, more like, and he gets depressed over that. And, like, his family, like, I don't know, they're very controlling. And he's going to do a lot of shit with them, I guess. So, but that's, well, that let's hope like he doesn't kill thing. them. Like, he tried to kill himself, and his mm -hmm. brother tried to kill him, and all that. Oh, okay, see, so that doesn't like a furry thing. That's like a fucked up family <laughs> thing. Those can relate. And, and he but... wants to be a snivy. A snivy? Um, oh, that guy, I remember. That's an alright Pokemon, I guess, if you, if you really want to transform into a Pokemon for the sake of your perverse interests. Still a little strange, but whatever makes him happy. So does he want to turn into a Snivy and then vine whip his family to death, or does he want to kill them in a conventional way? He wants to turn into a Snivy and serve Probably wants a, to use a, a pain pain one. I think he wants to use. But how does the killing his family as a Pokemon work out? Is that part of it, or is that separate? I don't think he wants to kill his family, but he would if he could. If he was a Snivy. That sounds like one I've heard. He wants to kill him as a Snivy. He just wants to be a Snivy. You know what's but weird? If you're gonna kill He's your family, you want you gotta do it with like a well-timed solar beam. <laughs> Look, this is the best one. Look. <laughs> you know what's weird? I'm off. <laughs> a better sorry. sun dance ahead of time. <laughs> Looking for a, sun, a summer day. And just go into like the living room. Your family, like, they're strict Catholics eating at a fucking table. And you come in and you painted yourself green. <laughs> and you duct tape, duct tape leaves all over you. And you just fucking blast them with a solar beam. No explanation well, how you get it. Just uh, nothing but a crisp on the ground. Oh my god. That is how you murder your family right there. <laughs> oh oh my shit. god, that's horrible. Uh, that's well, yeah, very related to childhood crushes too. How much experience would you get <laughs> from you. murdering your family? Like, uh, would you level per individual killed or would that be a group thing? I don't even feel comfortable talking about this. If you took a bunch of vitamins beforehand, do you think the EVs would add up? Would you be seeing God like a... damn it! <laughs> all they have to do is take multivitamin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like protein, carbos, and all the EV training all at once. I only had to kill my family to get to a level 100. No! <laughs> no, why am I laughing? This is the worst topic. What if Miss Donna Welcome had a double fruit? Cat. I hope you guys stick huh? around, fuckers. So, what if Miss Donna had a double fruit? Would you kill her to get it? Why are we talking about killing no, people? This is legit. Or this is a good it. topic. <laughs> if he said yes, I don't want to know the answer. If he said no, I would just kill her. <laughs> oh, fucking... Oh, God. Well, you know, kill your family for a devil fruit. We don't actually endorse killing people, Unless right? Unless it's funny, and you're a Pokemon Never. at the time. Well, <laughs> if you're a Pokemon at the time, I 100% endorse Josh. it. I don't know if you can really Josh. kill anyone as a Pokemon, though. You can in jokes! In jokes, it's funny. No, in real life, stop it's not funny. This right now. Oh, man, I think, I think family. Family. No! God, I'm fucking <laughs> awesome! Yeah, people take this shit dude, seriously. I they shouldn't a, be on the internet in the first place. Dude, I think a scissor would be That's like, natural selection. Kill your ass. <laughs> a scissor? Oh, a scissor, oh, a scissor would, like, would fucking wreck off. you. No, they only knock you out, man. No, they knock each other out, and the games are referred to like humans getting killed by Pokemon. There was a war oh, in X and Y, so they can't kill each other. It just takes a lot to kill a Pokemon. They do have wars, but they don't. What do you think Garbodor would do? They're wars. They're <laughs> knockout wars. Garbodor, he'd probably just Josh, consume you in his electricity. It would be a really uh, horrible death. Let's say you're tied up, and like you're naked, and mm -hmm. well, how am I gonna say this? Just say it. Just be 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 brutally blunt. Well, you're, you're tied up except for your hands, and you can't move. Except for your hands. 
Now, wait, your hands are tied up, but you can do move be, your hands. To be free. No, except my hands. To be free. Or to, you know, live on. You have to masturbate to either no. Ms. Donna or your dad. No. <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> the, the answer is I grab my dick and pull it off. And but throw who, it at Ms. Who, Donna. Too? You, who do you pull your you dick off? You got one pump to? out at least. <laughs> <laughs> one pump, man! <laughs> It would probably take a few tugs to remove it, man. The arrow would probably look good. I don't think you could. You probably so come trying painful. to rip your dick off. No, just one yank. Just what you mean is like you kind of like wrap around and you dig your nails in and just oh, try ah! to remove the tendons before it hatch. You'd still probably come, dude. That's still a lot of stimulation. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's an even worse question. That's so who genius. would you rip your dick off to in regards to your immediate family? <laughs> <laughs> That's our new topic. Get rid of the monster girl and how'd you get into anime shit? That's Nobody like saw cares. shit right there. It's <laughs> like you can live as long as you choose who you want to rip your dick off. Would you like to play a game? This is a picture of your grandmother. This is your mother. This is your dad. They're all in the shower. <laughs> Together. I have three cameras fixated on your penis. You must reach ejaculation or you die. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> there you go, uh, Hollywood. You need a fucking hook for Saw 8. You got it. Oh Make sure to credit god. me in the credits. I oh work hard on god. that. <laughs> <sighs> Fuck it. Moving on. Alright. Monster um, Girls. That was really related to Childhood Crushes, you know? All right. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, the reason we picked Wait, wait, wait. So... Never mind. I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> if it, okay. Okay, so... <laughs> if there was no humans but only monsters, what monster would you guys be? Well, do you wait? I thought uh, you were gonna say date. Um, no. Would you be like no, half human, human half monster? Like, you wouldn't be. Well, yeah, sure. Anamorphic so monster, many, dude. Um, that's a. Can it be like fictional? Like I thought you'd go for Harper. Yeah, girls. fictional. Um, it doesn't matter. Oh jeez. I, I did. I wasn't actually thinking oh, yeah, of like being one, but if oh, I had to pick something one? to be. Yeah. Oh, Being okay. a snake person, I think, would have a lot of benefits. Except for you wouldn't be able to, like, ever... You'd have to stay in the heat, and I don't like that, so... I don't, I don't know if I would want it'd be, it'd be so weird, because, like, we're so used to being a human. Well, the thing is, like, it's like, the first oh, well, thing you want to think is, like, oh, I want to be, like, the badass one with sharp claws, but if it's a whole society of monster people, uh, would it really matter? Like, what would you fucking need venom and sharp claws for if it's a civilized society of monster people? No one civilized. Fun. I'd probably be a cheetah man so I could run fast. But then you'd have a thorny dick. When you go and try to find so, hot monster people to have sex with, they'll be like, monster person they'll be like, idea. you look good, but you have a fucking thorn dick. I don't like that. Fuck it. I'll just fuck Being it. a Spider-Man would be pretty sick. <laughs> 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 I, I'm just saying, man. I want to be a wolf man. Yeah, climb up walls. Uh, <laughs> Alright, on to the actual topic. What did you want to talk about with Monster Girls? Okay, I'm just saying, like, um, the reason I bring this up was, uh, if you guys have been following manga, there's a sort of a harem that, um, I I'm into, I think years. David's into it as well. I keep up on it. Yeah, called, a uh, Mon- not Mamusa Quest, that's not what I was gonna say. Um, snake. Monster Musume, or something along those lines. Snake girl one. Monster and Musume mean the same fucking- oh, no, Well, whatever! It doesn't fucking it. matter! Anyways, it was recently licensed in America, and it's actually, I recommend it, it's got a really good lead, which most harems are sorely it's lacking in. And the- Oh, there we go, Monster Musume no Iru Nichijo. So, um, the reason go. I was gonna bring it up was, uh, it's gotten a lot of unexpected success in America. The guys that produce it are independent, they've also made a thing called Centaur Life, which I highly recommend, which is a slice of life revolving around monster characters. <laughs> David's shaking his head over there like, fuck You don't that. like Centaur Life? Oh, it's because David, Josh is whipping out his... David cow. likes big titties. Anyways, so because like this was such a success, exactly like it actually outsold Bleach, I believe. Well, Bleach isn't hard yeah. to outsell. No, no, no. Like in like New so York, in right the New York right editorials, now. it was the best-selling manga a for a while. Monster? A Bleach monster. Oh, you're talking about New York Times? Oh, I don't know shit about Bleach. Oh god, it's horrible. It's the fucking worst yeah, thing. Bleach is it's <laughs> like apparently, like, in, in terms of ratings, it's next to the trash section. <laughs> no, no. I mean, like in terms of selling, because like in New York. That's what I meant. It, <laughs> Does that mean if you're a bleach monster, you'd be dirt poor? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not poor. He's rich as fuck. Is that like equally like... being black in Monster World? <laughs> <laughs> what? You have the bleach arcana. You have the power to be dirt fucking poor and never have success in life. You'd be less than a peasant forever. And you have the inability to draw backgrounds. That also comes with your arcana. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> Check out this desert. desert. That's right. All I did was make a new area, and it's fucking desert. One city, one desert. Do you need anything else with your story? Fuck no. Have you guys realized that? Yeah. The whole fucking story revolves... Maybe there's a little bit of forest, but it's just a city, a forest, and then whenever they go anywhere else, it's a fucking desert. <laughs> like, really? Okay, so a Jew, a priest, and a rabbi all go into a bar. They sit down, and the bartender asks, what would you like to drink? The Jew says, I would like a Are white okay? Russian. The punchline is bleach fucking sucks. I was going to build up an extremely long joke leading to that, but I think that says it as it is. Do you do? Do you? Okay, I was gonna say we're gonna have to like ban you from the podcast. (laughs) How do you think of that book? Um, What shown? I actually am curious because you know most shonens are generally not that great. But what shonens are you into? What shonens am I into? Yeah, like for me personally, I love JoJo. One Piece is all right if I had shit taste, but um, like man, (laughs) I'm joking. I love One Piece. One Piece and JoJo are really high up there for stuff I'm personally into and healthy. Fucking shonens, man. Oh my god. Attack on Titan. I know you love that. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, Attack on Titan and. Was Sword Art Online count? Is this is Sword Art Online a shonen? I think Sword Art Online counts as a shonen. Yeah, because Don Hacks a shonen. Well, then, well, then, then again, bo- the novel is definitely the same because they describe of what sex. For what? Do they do it well though? Yes. Really? For what? Well, well, Shit. I got I really, a line of uh, Kirito fucking Austin. I, I know, really that kind of blew my mind. <laughs> I really liked Subasa yeah, Reservoir Chronicles. Sex. That That's shit was shoujo, so though, good. It? No, it's a well, shoujo. That was by Clamp. Like Clamp is shoujo, isn't it? No! Chobits is totally shoujo. Yeah, but not all of Clamp's work. Pollock is shoujo. No, it's not. Pollock, Pollock is, is totally shoujo. Pollock is not shoujo. Pollock, Pollock is shoujo as fuck. I have a Holic fucking volume right there. It's a shonen. Well, they misspelt it. It was lost in translation. You're lost in translation. All that SJ stuff is just... Clamp is totally shoujo. They're like the shoujo chicks. There we go. Oh, I like Deep that Rain Man. I didn't even think about that, but they don't even fucking. That is. Oh, you like guts, don't you? Yeah, that's not ever gonna. You mean Berserk? Shit. Like Andrea Whatever. Oh my I've god. I've only seen the first. I've only read the first chapter. I don't think Berserk's. A David show loves man. Berserk. Berserk's not a show. In no, it's a show. Are you fucking? Simon. Oh, it's a seinen. Yeah, you're right. Oh shit. No, that is way too ridiculous to be a shonen. Shonens are like all about being ridiculous. It's, it's literally like the most brutal manga I've ever read in my life. Well, the first ever manga I read in my entire life was Shaman King, so I'd probably give that most a mention. Brutal would go to Gantz. <laughs> okay, so how did you guys get in to the anime and manga? Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball? Would you like legitimately say like? Did you know it was anime? Did you know it was an Dragon anime Ball? whenever you watched it? So like, it. okay, what did you? What did you? About. What did you? What got you That's into it? Whenever you American knew ever. that it was anime or manga. Naruto. Believe that me. was the next thing on Toonami. I was like, oh shit, that's pretty cool. That is the best German theme song of all time. Sasuke. Josh. <laughs> Sakura <laughs> the Beautiful. <laughs> is that real? Oh, it's totally yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naruto. Well, I was playing that one. Naruto. 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 Believe it. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> god. <laughs> I know whenever we fucking looked at the German or French dub for One Piece, it was the shittiest thing I've ever heard in my yeah, life. Oh, the German dub of One Piece, like how they uh, censored it, is great. They couldn't show swords, so the scene where Zabuza like chops his uh, sword into a tree and stands on top of it, he's standing on a handle I in midair talk- with no blade. I think you're talking about four kids there. No, no, it's the German. Uh, you said One Piece. Did you mean to say Naruto? Naruto I'm sorry. I'm, oh, I meant to okay. say Naruto. I'm sorry. But yeah, you like, said Zabuza. I was like, but that's oh, yeah. not in One Piece. Oh, I don't think. Yeah, they can't show swords, oh, so whenever they throw oh, right. shit, can they I just remember make that invisible. scene where Zabuza popped into One Piece and punched Luffy in the face. Fuck you! Come on, you know what I was <laughs> talking about. Face, you know. <laughs> so Josh, how did you get into anime and manga? Whenever you knew it was anime, you knew well, it was manga. Well, Naruto was what made me start getting into it, basically. I saw Honestly, One Piece was my second one. I visited my, my uh, cousin's house, and then Bleach watched three Bleach. episodes... Of Naruto, didn't know what it was, but I thought the opening was cool. And then, and then, Escaflow in the movie started playing, and I fell asleep. And then, I could never find out what that was for a long time. And then, then while I was trying to figure out what Naruto was, um, then all the I found, and adults I, I saw a trailer for Love Heine, and then, I thought that looked awesome. And then, one time, I visited your house, stayed the night over there, and you got, you and your sister bought, like, manga and stuff didn't even know what it was and like 
And I was like, oh, dude, this is that, that thing I just watched. And then and then I stayed up all night and read every volume. Of There's Korean pedographs that I love so much. So that's, that's pretty much like me and my sister kind of like wow. fixed your way all the way to it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That Honestly. Was when I, I started, I, that was when I learned that there was more like that. I didn't even realize. Yeah. Um, wow. How we even like got into wow. it. Dude. My sister just had a friend who read manga and like she brought him home one time and I was like, not even gonna lie to you. I saw Love Hina and I was like, oh my god, she has boobies. I'm gonna act like I'm reading it. And, and then I actually did start it reading like it. was like a normal anime fan. Yeah. Or manga it was, fan. It, it was, was great. I was just like, I like boobies. Plays. You ever seen boobies before? <laughs> so you were just like, if I say I like anime, it's a cultural, like, themed excuse oh, to look at tits. Which for a teenager is like the golden oh, thing, right so. Yeah, but then I actually I started like getting it. into it and getting invested for the story and oh. I ended up really liking it. For like not tits, and it was what? So that's pretty much that's pretty much how it ended up being. And now whenever I see anything anime and manga, and it's too etchy, I get so fucking pissed. I'm like, I want my story, not belts and tits. If I want to see belts and tits, I'll just watch hentai. Exactly. So there are some series that manage to balance the bits. tits and the story pretty well. Like I would, Moose made it a really. Good I would say there's one that doesn't, but then Josh would hate me. Okay. What? Even though it's etchy as hell, it's, it's just enjoyable. Like I'm gonna say. It depends. If it's funny, what? while it's being edgy, up? sure. She tries to rape him. Who tries to rape who? They make babies and with what? him because he's a red dragon. Oh, everybody. that. Uh, I like as soon as you said the word rape, I saw like James's eyes kind of go down a little bit. Because we're not supposed to talk about rape on YouTube. Commenters get mad. I didn't say anything. No, but I saw it like in your face. I saw like a visible like mild drop. <laughs> Did you? I didn't know that. Just totally all of that led to like that's, that that's what Mom Moose's quest was all about. Well, yeah, but we weren't talking about Long Lucy Quest. We're going to play it on our channel one. eventually. No, wait, wait, <laughs> I told you we would if we got 69 yeah, for subscribers. Like, for 60, yeah, if we get 69 subscribers on the exact day that's Valentine's Day, uh, <laughs> I guess, who would play it? Would it be uh, play Josh and me, play maybe? Sure, right. I'd have to be censoring a fuck ton of shit. I'm sure, uh, I, I imagine you guys would lose on every single girl would, no, just to be fucked. Some of the artists, Actually, no, they have different artists. No, some no, of the chicks in that game look disgusting. Hold on, so. no, hold on. I play that if game you guys play it, where... I am giving you a goal. Uh-huh. You can't lose to any of the girls. If you lose to a There's girl, There's eight scenes even if you don't lose sometimes. Oh, what I'm saying is, no, that doesn't matter. I'll just cut that out or whatever. But, hey, um, man, like... But, I um, had no, to lose to Francesca. Hold on, no, no. Lose no. To Francesca. The first girl that you lose to is whenever it's game over. Why? Yeah. That's stupid. Yeah. That's not even fun. We'll never finish it. So it's gonna be like a 70-part series. <laughs> no. Well, it's a good thing you can't lose in that game, so... There's three games in the fucking trilogy, dude. Yeah, and you'll... Play you'll all of them. No, not if you lose to the girl. Well, to that's, the girl. A, that's a stupid rule. We'll yeah, just, I know. Josh and I will just stream it, then. We'll make our own channel. <laughs> I'm pretty it doesn't sure suck. <laughs> with blackjack and hookers? Yeah, with blackjack and hookers. Okay. Fuck you. I figured awesome. I knew where right. that was going. So, um, my story I already kind of touched on is how I got into anime, but, um... When I was a kid, I obviously watched Dragon Ball. I thought it was okay, I guess. We but, all did. Everyone yeah, did. Yeah, so that doesn't really count. And then I started watching uh, four kids, and I got uh, really and into then you uh, fighting Fudons and Ultimate Muscle. But I didn't know what they were. Ultimate Muscle, dude! Ultimate Muscle! Uh, yeah. Josh wants to die. Yeah. You okay. just touched his foot. Yeah, I touched his foot. foot. I, will, I will rub Josh's Look foot. Look how dirty that care. isn't. Okay, yeah. so um, I started really getting into it, and then I went to Books A Million one day, not knowing what anime and manga is. And I saw the section where they was like, oh shit, Shaman King, and a bunch of nip shit I don't give a fuck about. But, is nip offensive? I don't, I don't, I don't think know. it is. If um, it is, I'll just bleep it. Or I'll just forget. Oh, <laughs> nip word. What's nip shit mean? Oh, well, it's, it's short for Nippon. It's not like a slur. It's oh. a genuine Japanese term, so I yeah, don't yeah. think it'd be offensive. No, it's fine. it's fine. I don't think it's offensive. But um, anyways, so I pick it up and I'm like, oh my god, it's uh, book three of Shaman King. I didn't know they made cartoons in book form. So I uh, purchased it and I got home and read it and I was like, they show a penis in this, holy shit. And I was like, this is fascinating. This has changed everything I knew about reality. And then I, um, I picked up a few volumes of Shaman King and then I became aware of what manga was and realized it was super offensive and I was all over it. <laughs> and the next thing I was into, I'm pretty sure was um, Death Note. I was like 13 or 14. This it's is when a, I was actively actually, aware. It's actually really good though. Yeah, I was saying, it's like I... I you I guys, you gotta watch it manga. after the fucking hype goes away, though. Cause like oh, everyone was like, "Oh my god, that was the best thing ever!" It still holds up. It's st I definitely gotta you say, just, like, you just have to watch it after all. 
that. Yeah, the, the first mangas I owned was Shaman King, Death Note, and Ultimate Muscle. The Ultimate Muscle manga they didn't release many uh, books of, so I didn't get too into that. And then, later... <laughs> Josh just keeps, like, out of nowhere, he'll say something and then punch his hand. <laughs> and then later... <laughs> That's what I do. Later, I um, read Azumanga Daio, and life would never be the same. Azumanga Daio is what made me actually embrace being an anime. Series. I still remember how me and Josh got into that. Josh was like, dude, I saw this gif and I really want to watch this show. Oh, yeah. Was it Osaka? So, no, no, no. So, it, it so yeah, Osaka. it was Osaka. It was just Osaka. She was just standing there. And it was the scene where she's just like, all right. I'm gonna flip my shoe, and if it lands on this side, we're gonna go to this, and if it lands on the other side, we're gonna do this. So she's just like, it, <laughs> and it just lands on the truck and drives away. Oh my god! <laughs> I was a manga Dayo. Um, I ever, I never watched the anime because I want to own it, but Only it's so saw. expensive. But the manga of it is so good. I have like the massive like 500 pound book of the whole series. Yeah, I Still have too, it. but Alex it's Melvin good. stole it. What do you mean he stole it? He was. I went to his house one time. And he was uh, like with it because I just bought it or something. And then yeah, I did steal it from Josh, then, even though I spent no, thirty dollars of no, it. Melvin. Oh, oh. can I? Yeah. Like, thanks for the... putting his last name on a. <laughs> Melvin. <laughs> I'll just bleep it out. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Dude, Alex bleep. Um. Bleep it with the word Melvin. Even louder. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Melvin. <laughs> oh God! No one heard no, no, no. no. the fucking bleep. Alex oh. Melvin. Oh God. <laughs> Uh, so, anyway, um, I took it to his house and he was all right, like, hey, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, we'll name this person Melvin. Okay. We'll refer to him as Melvin, so okay. continue. I went to Melvin's house with him one time for whatever reason, and then uh, he was like, oh, dude, can I borrow it? I promise I'll give it back tomorrow. And I was like, I I'm never going to see you again after this. And he was like, no, nah, what are you talking about? We totally, I'll, I'll give it to you any time I see you. And I was like, it's not going to happen. And then I asked him for it every time I see him, and... He's like, oh yeah, um, I think I might have got another coffee stain on that, but, but sure, I'll give it to you <laughs> next a, time. Who fucking says that? You don't admit it. You give it back, and it's a like fucking coffee stain. You just don't say anything. You're just like, no, it's fine. I, nothing happened. There's no I'm coffee stains right. in it. Don't worry. It's all good. <laughs> you know, I have a. How long ago did you buy that? Uh, probably five years ago. Why don't you three just, years why ago. Why did you buy a new fucking man, coffee? Man, no, you don't understand. Like, thirty dollars. Yeah, it's man. expensive. I would be pissed if somebody like. It's not like a fucking eight dollar volume of One Piece where you can like easily get a replacement. Um, Ten dollars. Those yeah. big compilation things—they cost a good amount of money. Yeah, I yeah. understand. Josh, what the fuck are you doing? Giving your uh, shelf a foot tail. job. It's and fine. And that too. Obviously, your shelf is in he the needs to practice his foot job skills. <clears throat> if he ever, you know, stops working at the pizza joint, and needs to make money. He's got to have a fallback talent. Yeah, I gotta. I guess you're right about practice, that. Practice, man. I mean, look at how big his feet are. Those are just prime foot job giving feet. So, mm -hmm. you gotta be encouraging of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I think David's cashed out at this point. I feel like he's just like, I got some, like, paper towels over here. Yeah, he's got a fucking roll of paper towels near his junk, and he's laying on his side, just staring off in the distance. And then he's, like, Josh zoning the trying to fuck stick his finger out. Up his butt. Stop. So, David, Hi. what's up, man? What you gotta say? This. Oh, I already did it. All right. Um, my nose we don't have more. much time left, so we're gonna go to our last topic. Favorite song from Shadow of the Hedgehog. <laughs> oh, it's all hell. Honestly, Shadow, chosen topic. one. Chosen one was the. I love. I had chosen one on my iPod. Chosen one me. felt very. Um, <laughs> very. I liked it. Lincoln Park esque. It, it wow, what a dick! Fun. I wasn't <laughs> making fun of it. Jesus, you just said you loved it. Why are you mad at me for comparing it to something else you love? Cause it doesn't sound like that. It does. I can't remember anything at all. I've become so numb. No. It's the same <laughs> shit! <laughs> You're such a fucking That's dick. not a bad thing. I didn't say anything. What the fuck? Which one's your favorite? I like um, it because I, it's I like think. the band you like. You know? uh, yeah, I was saying I like this thing. I'm like, oh, it's like that other thing you like that I did not remotely <laughs> say anything bad about, but you assume. Yeah. That you assume says more than anything else. Yeah, it means that you guys say she bad I love the song Faint. I take the lyrics off, I don't listen to the music only, but I love the music of Linkin Park. It's I like just I don't like the vocalist. I like I'm not saying I hate songs. the group, I just don't like the vocalist because he kind of drones. Jesus. It's cool. I named my original Sonic OC Dark Shadow of the Nighthog <laughs> after like the lead singer for his main ability, so you can't say shit. <laughs> what, you fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway. Thanks for joining us. No, on. no, no, we gotta, we gotta finish the topic. We gotta go through. What topic? Okay, my favorite, my favorite song from Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> open your heart. Or... Uh, That's not from Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog. I took oh. one step forward and oh. two steps yeah, back. I'm a hundred thousand pounds sitting on my back. Up, down, all around, don't know quite what to do to get through. Now it's on to my. I fucking yeah, love Shadow of the Hedgehog's so always demon. Dude, okay, that one's that one was it's pretty so good. It's so bad. Yeah, it's never awesome. Never turned back's the best. Never turned Josh, back's the best. Josh, I remember really fucking listening to that shit while playing Track Mania. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. David, <laughs> David, I still, I still remember what's my your track favorite? On that song. <laughs> what's your favorite song from Shadow of the Hedgehog? <laughs> the greatest game of all time. The one you never played. Which one? Pick <laughs> a song. I am, I am all of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the t- fucking edgiest shit ever. What does that even mean? Where's that damn fourth chaos in Alright, right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Ian e K Cast. We'll probably do another I one am, of these. I sometime. am all of me. I am. You actually said people watch your videos. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> no, we have a few people. Okay, so, um, I like thank you. I said that in a really low voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, we do oh, it for fun, boy. man. All yeah, right. No, like, we don't. We don't give a shit. They Nobody have at least themselves. They start. watch their videos. All man. right. Um, thank you for joining the Shadow the Hedgehog cast. We'll be here soon. Oh Later, guys. God. This is ShadowFan666 signing off. <laughs> Thanks, Tex. The great 2JN bids farewell. Oh, fuck it. <laughs>